Welcome to our review on concerns about genetically modified crops. So basically when we're thinking about genetically modified crops there are some people who worry that all of these genetically modified crops we're producing if we eat them then we're at risk of some unexpected side effects. In terms of the evidence about our genetically modified crops the best place to look is the USA. Now they've been using these genetically modified crops for many years now and what they've actually done in all these years is they've been taking studies and checking everything as they've been going and as a result of this we know that no super weeds have developed which are weeds that are resistant to all pesticides etc. We've got no reported reduction in biodiversity because people thought that having these genetically modified crops would damage the, all of the other animals and wildlife living in the area that's not happened and there have also been no reported health problems from anyone eating genetically modified food. So what we've got here then is just a little table that weighs up the benefits against the risks. So on the left hand side we've got our arguments for genetically modified and on the right hand side we've got the arguments against our genetically modified. So first of all the thing to think about in terms of the benefits of our genetically modified food we can feed more people because they produce higher yields which is very important in terms of obviously avoiding hungers. Now we've also got many people who've got no problem with the idea of eating any genetically modified produce. We've also got these genetically modified farms that have got increased productivity while using fewer inputs so that means it might not cost so much to buy this food. And finally we've got no issues with these GM crops so far. However in the against genetically modified crops what we've got is that if you've got a poor farmer then they may not be able to afford the genetically modified crop seeds. We may also have those people who have a problem with the idea of eating this genetically modified produce and therefore they won't buy it. So those farmers that are producing it would end up losing money and possibly their actual custom base as well. We may see that genetically modified crops change the ecosystem in ways that can't be reversed. And finally we might see genetically modified crops cross pollinating with wild plants which again could lead to some unexpected side effects. But what we need to do in any of these situations where there are benefits and risks is weigh them up against each other and at the end of the day if the benefits outweigh the risks then people generally think that that's the way to go.